a little song from the 80s called Tonight by Cool and the Gang. A song that's been kind of lost. That uh, it's not one of their bigger hits, but uh, definitely a jam. Definitely worth learning too. Now, what we have here is what we call a uh, a riff for you newbies out there. A riff is usually associated with guitars. You know, so what we have here is a guitar player and a bass player on this song following each other. They're doing the exact same part, especially on the chorus right there. That They're doing the same part. So they're following the riff. That's called a riff. Okay. It can also be called a hook. But in this case, let's just call it a riff because that's what it is. It's a guitar riff, man. So. Now, to break this song down, it has th three parts. Actually, four if you include the guitar solo. But the guitar solo is just riding on the note of D. It's just riding on the note of D. Real simple part. We won't count that one. So, main riff. We have a D, G, F, back to G, C, then uh, back to G to F. So, then the B flat same riff back on starts on the D B flat that little walk up right there is A C C sharp to D Okay, so that's the main guitar riff right there. That is the intro, that is the choruses, and that's it. That's the main part, though. That's the main... If, most people, if you play that part right there, they know what song you're talking about. Okay? So, then we go and we'll skip to the bridge. The bridge starts in F, to A, to B flat, to C, I think 
it goes around four times. That is the bridge. Last but not least is the verse. <laughs> do that again because I don't think I nailed that part too good after a while when you play songs you'll know in your head just by the way it feels if you're not playing a part right even though I played the right notes I knew right then and there I wasn't playing the right feel and I know I don't have this feel for this verse part down 100% because I haven't listened to the song in a while y'all so let's try that again Okay, so we have, like I said, a D. Now this little hammer-on is from G to A. So, to A. Another hammer-on, which is B flat to C, back to B flat. To C, C, D. Let me see. I already messed it up again. D. A. So, lesson in that part right there. Even your teacher can mess it up. So, I don't have it 100% down, but I'm going to leave this tape the way it is because my shit is unedited, baby. So, what we're going to do, like I said, you have a D, hammer on from G to A to A, another hammer on from B flat to C to B flat on B flat, holds B flat. C, C, repeat. So, listen to the record. I still feel like I'm a little off on that. But, if I was called to do a gig right now, I could make it work, babies. Okay, so that's how you got to get to. Even if you, even though you don't have a part 100%, if you just got the feel in your head or the notes and you know how to uh, move in and out of parts, especially the parts you're unsure about. In other words, fake it to make it, baby. I could get through the song. So, but as a student, you just need to listen closer than I did. Okay. I think I got the notes correct. I think my feel and my rhythm is a little bit off on that verse part. So, that's all you need to know about this song. It's a great song. I wish it would have got more uh, play, but it's not one of Cooling the Gang's uh, most uh, known songs. But uh, hardcore Cooling the Gang fans know this song. So, that's it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Let me know how you feel, baby. Check out my Facebook page because I need some likes over there, man. It's hurting. I need some help over there, y'all. And uh, check out my Twitter page, too. I got a Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter D. Twitter. Yeah. All right. Catch you later.